There is no hate here. We do not hate Jews. We do not hate Christians. We do not hate Americans. We do not hate Arabs. We do not hate English people, British people. We don't hate anyone. What we hate is violence. And what we hate is the death of babies. That's what we hate. Yeah. So we are here to let people know that our solidarity with Palestine does not come at the expense of us carrying hate in our hearts. We all know that wars never solve any problem, but only thing which solves is the negotiation. There have been several wars, small and big, since 1948 between Israel, Palestine and Arab countries. What has been achieved? More deaths, more destructions, and more misery for the people. American, British, and some other Western countries say that Israel has a right to defend itself. But they do not say, what is the right of the Palestinian people? What do they expect them to do? Die slowly? 33 RAF flights have gone from northern Cyprus into Tel Aviv. 33. In the, in, that was 10 days ago. Since then it might be 45. I don't know. What do you think they're carrying? Water bottles for the people in Gaza. They're carrying bombs. We are continually sending bombs to Israel. Every single life is precious. These acts of collective punishment must cease immediately. These actions are nothing short of war crimes. And as such, must be taken against, action must be taken of those who perpetrate these heinous crimes. We need a ceasefire to allow desperately needed aid to those who need it most. And we need safe spaces for those who have been displaced to be able to come back to their homes in Gaza. The hostages need to be returned and urgent, and I think the only way forward is urgent negotiations need to take place by all parties involved in the dispute. The BBC have started questioning Israeli intelligence. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Two days ago, they started saying, oh, so we've completely bombed Al Shifa Hospital. We've let... <sighs> we've let babies die in incubators. We've cut their power and we've let babies die because they couldn't get incubators. We've done that. We've denied water to people who need urgent dialysis treatment. We've done that. Why do we do that? We did that because there's a network of Hamas tunnels under the hospital. And after all that death, they've gone in and they've faked videos and they've faked propaganda. And even, even the biased Zionist BBC are saying we're not convinced. It's absolutely disgusting. It's so disturbing. We have a long walk to freedom. We're gonna get tired on, in the, on the process. We're gonna be hungry. We will be thirsty. But are we going to give up? No. Are we going to give up? No. Some may reach before us and others may reach the destination and the end later on, but we will all get there. What's our objective? What's our aim? We are not going to rest until Palestine is free. free. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Thank you so much. Oh rascal children of Gaza, oh rascal children of Gaza, you who constantly disturb me with your screams under my window, you who fold every morning with rush and chaos, you Gaza children, rascal children of Gaza, you broke my vase, you stole the lonely flower on my balcony. Oh, rascal children of Gaza, come back, come back, come back, rascal children of Gaza, and scream as you want, and break all the vases, and steal all the flowers. Oh, rascal children of Gaza, come back. Just come back. The Green Party has been clear and unwavering in its calls for a ceasefire. We call for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, the West Bank and Israel. We call to, for the end of the occupation of Palestine. 
The carpet bombing and attacks on schools, hospitals and refugee camps is contrary to international humanitarian law and is unacceptable. We have protested so many times before to deaf ears and still our hard-earned money goes towards the genocide of our brothers and sisters in Palestine. So how is now different? It's different because the Palestinian people are looking at us and they are watching us protest and boycott and bring down stock markets and it's working. The stock market for Starbucks has gone down. The stock market for McDonald's has gone down. They're getting freebies now. It's working and we have to keep going. Long before October the 7th, there was a lot of violence, mainly in the refugee camps. Now, since the beginning of this year, 400 people in the West Bank have been killed. Three times the number of last year, which was itself the highest number since 2005. Just as we write this report, Gaza is again in total communication blackout. This amplifies the anxiety and accelerates the panic. A ceasefire now is urgently needed. We've got every right to call out our politicians. Paul Bristow, I called him out. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! I called him out, and do you know what he said to me? He said, I have lost my job, a job that he didn't want in the parliament. He's still the member of parliament for Peterborough. And he said to me, what more can I do? How many Palestinian lives can I save? And I said to him, that is not the point. You have abstained from voting and you have a duty. And that same night that he abstained, there is a picture going around on social media our own Muslim community leaders are sitting around a table and eating dinner with him. Shame on them! None of this started on October the 7th. We all know that. We've all been watching the videos, we've watched the subjugation that this country has supported for more than 40 years now. Never in the history of our species of humanity has a resistance militant force not been born out of the rubble and the subjugation of illegal military occupation. Never. So when we are asked, do you condemn Hamas? I'm going to turn it around a little bit here, guys. Yes, I condemn the killing of civilians on October the 7th. Yes, I condemn war crimes, but do I condemn a resistant militant force fighting back against a military occupation? Hell no! Rishi Sunak! Shame on you! Rishi Sunak! Shame on you! Netanyahu! Shame on you! All criminal! Netanyahu! Netanyahu! Netanyahu, you've got right! Thank you. We're going to call on um, the next speaker. Oh, brothers and sisters, we're calling for an end to genocide in Gaza. We want a ceasefire. But as the United Nations General Secretary said, this did not start in October the 7th. It started in 1948, from Deir Yassin to Gaza. And the Palestinian people have never given up. Now the Israelis must understand that without justice there could be no peace. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! We call for ceasefire, we call for peace, we call for justice, we call for an end to the occupation, we call for equal rights, human rights, civil rights, and the right to return for Palestinians.